Hello everyone, Omar Bauer, the Urban Scientist. Today we are testing different soil types made from recycled materials, a solution to recycling. I was interested in our waste problem, so I decided to combine different recycled materials together to make a soil composition to sustain plant life. The plant that I chose to grow was partially, and these are my results as follow. Mix 1 was my control. It contained regular soil mixture. These are my results. As you can see, only one little sproutling grew. And this is just regular soil mixture, potting mix. Now for mix 2, we have compost, leaves, eggshells, banana peels, orange peels, fungi, and of course bacteria. We have cardboard, newspaper, styrofoam, and plastics. The results? Whoa! We got plant growth. Okay, now for mixture 3, it was completely no soil used. We have cardboard, styrofoam, newspaper, eggshell powder, and regular cleaning sponges. The results are, we got plant life. And you can see there's no soil whatsoever. And I used a soda bottle method for each of these, so you can get an idea of what I did here. Okay, now for mixture four, we have peat soil mix, cardboard, styrofoam, newspaper, and plastics. This is what I got. We got plant growth. And this is just an overall idea of each setup that I did. So what did I learn? I learned that my soil mixtures were superior to regular potting soil mixture. So people, a solu one solution to our recycled waste materials is making soil out of them to grow plants. And these are the results here. And you can use plastic soda bottles instead of just throwing them away to make other uh, items out of it. Here I use them as planters. There's over a thousand ways that you can use soda bottles. So this is an all-way-round green project. Omar Ballot, Urban Scientist. Thank you.